Alright, welcome back. we got a simple project this time. I am going to make a little bench top uh, guitar neck uh, rest. I find sometimes this one here is just a little bit too high, so I'm kind of moving it around a bit. And I expect to move the other one around a bit. Um, and I've been thinking about making my own for a while now. And I have tried in the past, I actually should dig it up, but it's in a moving box. But anyway, I've been thinking about how to build this, and um, I wouldn't exactly call myself a pack rat, but I do keep odd things. And as you can clearly tell, this is packaging foam. <laughs> um, so it's pretty stiff, but it's also pretty cushiony at the same time. And the really nice thing about it is that it actually shapes pretty well with just a rasp. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just try and shape it to this curve a little bit, but I want it to be long. So all I'm going to do, so all I'm going to do here is just kind of mark the radius and cut that out. So I got a little bit of leftover fabric here. Uh, I had originally bought this to reline the inside of the guitar case, but decided I didn't quite like this um, after something just a little bit different. So I used it for some other stuff. I put the guitar pad actually under here on this table, and I covered the table with some of it. And a few leftover pieces, so I thought I'd put them to good use. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and cover this. Uh, it's really pretty simple. I'm just going to use hot glue. You probably see me using hot glue a lot. Some of you probably cringe seeing me use hot glue. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I use it for a lot of stuff. Uh, never had any problem with that. Pretty useful. It's pretty easy to use. Um, and it's cheap. And you can get glue sticks anywhere. So, I'm going to go ahead and use glue stick. So if you don't want to use a glue stick, then use whatever you want. Some people use spray glue. That's fine too. Probably a bit harder to find than glue sticks. Um, but if you don't have a glue gun, uh, you can probably also buy that at the grocery store. Which is, frankly, I think where I bought mine. Okay, so, like I said, I have a little bit of leftover fabric that I'm going to go ahead and use to cover this. And you probably see there, I just put a little bit of that, I don't even know what you call this stuff, it's drywall tape I think, you put it in between the joints. Not even really sure why I put it there, just saw it in my bin, I thought, hmm, maybe I'll put that in there. Just maybe make it hold it a bit better, foam, make it a bit more even, because I didn't cut it very evenly. It's not too bad, but shit. Nobody's going to see that and really it's going to do its job anyway, right? doesn't really matter if it's perfect. And the whole idea behind this project is that you can do this with crap you have laying around at home. You don't have to have fancy fabric. You can use like an old pair of jeans or whatever fabric you have. Uh, this is, like I said, this is just packing foam. doesn't really matter what you use, right? Um, and frankly, I wish I'd thought of this before I spent all that money on this little fender kit, because this is a really pretty useless piece. Of... Wow. This is pretty useless POS. Uh, I think I'll probably get a bit more use out of this, and I might make another couple just for, you know, for to, to hold the guitar in different uh, positions. I've seen some pretty fancy ones made out of wood, and I might make one out of wood because I am a bit of a hobby woodworker also. Um, but for now, while I wait for my heat gun to warm up, I'm just going to 
kind of get a rough idea of how much fabric I'm going to use. And the idea is that obviously I want to maintain this, this shape on the inside, so I'm going to sort of glue it a little bit at a time and hopefully maintain my, my shape here, uh, which is exactly what I'm after. And then I think what I'll do is once I've got the inside fit, then I'll, uh, you know, I'll kind of cut it and shape it around the bottom. And I don't really need any on the bottom. Um, but I'll turn it out. Oh, there we go. Heat gun's starting to bubble. Okay, so it works. Uh, I mean, I uh, it does what I want it to do, which is which is actually hold the guitar down a little lower because when you work on it, uh, I find sometimes that this thing is too high. No matter where I have it, it's just not comfortable for me to work on. Uh, so I do pref I would have preferred it to be a little lower. I've seen some fancy ones, like I said, made out of wood, but frankly, this is going to work for me just wonderfully. Uh, it was free to build. I used uh, leftover materials I had laying around, some packing tape. Like I said, it's not, it's not built to last until the end of time. Uh, I used hot glue. Uh, that's going to hold just fine. On the bottom of it, I just put some of that tin tape I used for shielding. It actually sticks really well. That's going to work great. And when it stops working, I'll make another one. It took 15 minutes, so... If you're looking for uh, a reason to start working on your own guitar, build yourself one of these, take five, ten minutes, make whatever kind you like, it doesn't take that long, and uh, stick one on your desk.